welcome to another process video from Freddie and myself. Let's make some slow stitched faux postage stamps. We're going to use up our fabric scraps and we'll make it for our fabric journal ephemera or our uh, everyday um, journals so yeah let me pull you closer so you can get a really good look <laughs> this is a job for our superhero WYSIWYG our scrap buster now I think somewhere here I have and um, yes it is on a bobbin some fabric strips of fabric that's going to come in very handy for this project there we are. So I've got a little, well, I'm going to make ours on a roll. In the States, postage stamps come on a roll, so I'm told, yeah. And and in, in Britain, more about this later, they come in books, they come in sheets or books, and we're going to be, we're going to be using one of these later, so more about that. So let's start by using the little scraps and leftovers in our little in our little scrap busting bag, WYSIWYG, and we're going to cut out some backgrounds. And then we'll be adding. I'll, I'll go over it later. Well, that's automatically a gorgeous little stamp because that's that's a lovely little piece of fabric there. So let's save some of that. Just pulling out anything, really. Here's a lovely piece of silk. Let's just cut a little square. there and I'm, I'm leaving myself space so I can cut them out and then I'm going to slow stitch these these on here so we're going to be building up up layers and then we can snip simply snip these little mini postage stamps we can snip them off for our various projects one here on my on my lampshade my slow stitch lampshade i think there's another one around here somewhere oh look there it is and it's lovely if you find pieces of fabric that I've got small prints on. I think that would be lovely. And also you can make them any theme. Oh, we're coming up to winter and Christmas, so you might want to make yours in a winter or Christmas theme. And now um, I will slow stitch them on. So let me just, yes, yeah, slow stitching, any stitch goes. This is beginner friendly. And also, if you know lots of embroidery stitches, use those. I'm just bringing it, that's it, just nearly there. And then just like knotting it up really. Don't pull it tight. That's just starting it off and then, yeah. And now literally any stitch goes. Ah, oh, yes. Now, slow stitching is all about relaxing and not worrying really about the size of the stitch. Any stitch goes. And you, yeah, trust me that, oh, do you know, it always looks 
beautiful. Big snip stitches, small stitches. Look, little knots. <laughs> oh, yes. Just, it's, it's about enjoying the journey. Now we are going to have a finished pro product, but this is going to be a really relaxing journey for us. So I'm going to pack this up and take this off to the lounge and find myself a nice comfy, cosy place to sit, make myself a nice hot drink, make myself cosy and sew on these backgrounds. I do, when I start to slow stitch, I just do stitch after stitch. I really get into it. So as you can see, there is no right or wrong here. Just in and out, slow stitching my backgrounds on. Can use ribbons as well. I'm going to have a little search through here. There's our little Freddy. Bless him. Oh. You may have collected ribbons with patterns on, or I'm just collecting fabrics from from the jar. Well, they've got tiny little pictures on, little flowers, and collecting green. This is lovely. Little flowers, little bumblebees. Things that all give our faux stamps a gorgeous pattern. I know that Serafina's keeping something special for me. The fabric edges biased. What do you call them? The biased edges on fabric. And they've got numbers. Oh, numbers for so we can see how many how many pence or, or cents our stamps cost. If you haven't got any patterned ribbon, maybe you've got ink and some ink stamps. A little bumblebee here. Let's print that on the fabric. Oh, that's lovely. I can sew him on. Wonderful. That's it. Pack it up. Choosing some threads. Got a needle. Ah, oh, let's go and just have a little relax. So now I have after all that relaxing time in the lounge, I have a nice roll, roll of stamps. Now, if you haven't got the little numbers that go on the salvage edge, I've just sewn on this one like a little, a little piece of white cotton. And I'm going to write on how much this one costs. What should we say it costs? Let me see. Um... Shall we say 21p? 21p. So don't worry, all is not lost. Now, Janet, what are you going to do with these stamps? Well, let me see. I've got the little Robin one here. Just colour his little little robin red breast in there with a little glittery marker pen that's one of my that's one of my favorite stamps from Laura and I'm going to snip that off my off my roll and pop that in my latest Christmas journal there or you could put one in your fabric journal. These will be great for Happy Mail too. But that's it, lovely. 
these will be lovely. They'll be lovely on the shelf. I'm going to put those on a roll, USA style. There we are. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute. And then UK style, a book of stamps. I've made a little fabric book of stamps. Just just by yeah, just by stitching in fabric. Now as well, I can I've just literally tacked these in so they can be used. Just like you'd peel off the the ones in our in our books. So we've got four stamps, oh, 73 pence, that one. That one might send a parcel. One, one P. I don't think that one's going to send anything that far. And I'm going to make this into a little journal as well. I wonder what I should, should I make it into a fabric journal or put paper in or both? Let me know what you think. I found my pinking shears from when I was a child and I thought they make good edges for the postage stamps but if you haven't got them don't worry because I think the frayed edge looks just as good. Ah oh, this has been lovely. Oh let's see what's in the biscuit tin. Any biscuits left? Let's have a look. Ah oh, yes digestive. Oh lovely. They're good dunkers. Mm. Just dip it a little bit. Mm. 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 Delicious. Mm. We also get our stamps on sheets as well. So that's another idea. Mm. You can see, oh, you can see how just relaxed I get when we're when we're I'm creating and chatting away to you. This is a lovely tag from Vicky Sellers. This above all, to thine own self be true, and that's a William Shakespeare quote. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Mm, thank you, Vicky. And another one here that I popped in the mushroom. Creativity takes courage. Oh, that is amazing. And a wonderful picture of community here. That's amazing. Reaching out to your community, this art community or the community around you. Mm. What am I knitting? Oh, well, I finished the fingerless gloves and they've got like a, a real thumb there. I would alter it and make the cuff longer next time, but they are really cosy. I wore them to the park yesterday and it was frosty in the park, so I needed them. And now I've started some more and I'm doing, I'm using this, this lovely wool from, I made a poncho, I don't know whether you remember from my niece Katie in this, and this is all left over. So there's enough for hats and gloves. So making some, yeah, I'm using moss stitch. So yeah. That's nice. I like to have knitting and crochet on the go as well. They're just so easy to pick up. So, you know, just, you know, just it's nice to have lots of things on the go, depending on what you feel like, isn't it, Flo? Flo's the same. Oh, Flo, you're using your new sewing machine from Karen. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like a Serafina Junior. I love what you've been sewing too. That's to go in your fabric journal, is it? 
Oh, that's wonderful. Powered by fairy dust, I would imagine. Oh, yes, my new fabric journal. Do you remember lovely Lizzie sent me these mug rug coasters? Beautiful, hexagon shaped. Wow, I've made them into journal covers. <laughs> I've cut out some fleece. Got some hexagons that I made before and yeah just cut, cutting out pages and starting to decorate oh and I received this wonderful wonderful mushroom oh from Possum Patty oh isn't it absolutely gorgeous oh thank you Patty I love it absolutely love it and full of beautiful slow stitches and I will I'll be putting it in my latest fabric journal thanks Patty oh, oh little possum's trying to run away <laughs> come back shall we light a candle here it is Now, when we light the candle, it's just, just approach it to how you feel comfortable. It's just a way to relax and focus ourselves and slow down and think about ourselves and think about other people that are on our heart. Take good care everyone and take take some moments for yourself as well maybe five minutes ten minutes take that little bit of time for yourself mm. take good care bye bunch mate wow saturday ones are much bigger hello yeah. mate <laughs> <Where's the white? laughs> oh we've never seen this before <laughs> there you go oh. <laughs> we're always sending post in this pair of ox tea actually empty the key tab change your key tab to thursday well it works nice that that. <laughs> and that's it and, and that's what box. you do that's it Pity we haven't got a letter to post, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So often. Oh, Freddie, yeah, Freddie. You can put a post a letter in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. could do it. Post a letter. I tell you. Oh, you don't know how many ones got a pink lemon right now. Oh, I've not got anything. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for okay, um, no letting us record okay. that. Yeah. For our little vlog. Okay, that's all right. I've not got nothing. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs>